We went to Rolling Hills and they had their Halloween decor! Hi, Happy Hoarder here, and I want to start this video by saying I have some really awesome friends. Some friends are just better than friends. Some friends are family, a couple of which are my quote unquote sisters, Kathy and Linda, and my really good friend Brenda, who is my cousin. So I just have those friends, you know, and the cousin thing with Brenda is another story. It has to do with the play we were in. So I ran into Kathy at the farmer's market in Ruston, and she said, hey, I'm going to Big Creek trade days today you want to come and I said yeah and I didn't even look at my husband I'm like see ya so <laughs> so she came and got me it's about a 15 minute drive north of where I live because outside of Dubai I think it's a little area called Hilly but it's Dubai we just had the best time checking out all this stuff and I said let me tell you a little bit about Big Creek trade days hard to say really fast I don't know what year it started not too long ago maybe about five years ago so Big Creek trade days takes place the weekend of the second Monday of each month and it is a bunch of chicken houses that they have transformed into the cutest little shops. And it is amazing how adorable this place is. They leveled it out, put the indoor, outdoor carpet down, and then people have come in and they really fix up their booths so adorable and they have a cooling system it's not super cool i mean we have really hot and muggy you know louisiana but they do have the cooling systems i guess they use on chicken houses and then people may have fans and things like that in their booths but it so it's not really super cool and we my husband and i went in the winter and it was pretty cold that day and so it's not very warm either so the temperature control is not great but so you have to dress for it but we did have such a good time. I'm telling you, these booths give you a lot of good ideas. There's so many things that I saw there. Couldn't bring it all home because, you know. Now, Kathy's an artist. She does a lot of different uh, mediums. But right now, she's working with jewelry. And I was always on the lookout for really cute plates. And I really wish she would stick to the chipped ones because I'm looking for plates to do my tables with. And she's looking for plates to tear up for jewelry. Although, her jewelry is fantastic. I will enter a link to her Etsy shop below. She's awesome. This is one of the things. I don't know if you go shopping with people. Now, Kathy and I haven't been, uh, like, just the two of us have gone shopping because it's usually the three of us going with Linda. And we kind of just scatter. But we do tend to hang out pretty close. And I really like that because, you know, I don't know if you've ever been shopping with somebody and they kind of have their own thing and you have your own thing. So you kind of scatter and then kind of merge back and scatter. She and I pretty much, you know, we're looking for the same thing. It was so much fun going shopping with her. And so, love to Kathy. I was on a um, mission for tiered trays, but I wanted something that would break down. And I was also looking for the individual salt and pepper shakers. That was just one of the things that I was um, on, the, on a mission for. And I think it's really good when you go on a mission because if you go into one of the little areas and somebody goes, well, can I help you? And you say, I'm looking for one of these two things. And they'll say, well, I don't have them. I go, okay, well, I'll just check out your stuff. Well, then you don't feel like you're just in there, you know, snooping around. You know, you're like, I'm here for, I have a mission. I am here for a purpose. But then they'll show you something and I go, yeah, I really kind of like that. And yeah. So I will tell you one thing. There's this lady there who had fairy lamps oh my goodness if you were one of those fairy lamp people which i could not afford any of these fairy lamps you know if the lord meant for me to have one i'll find one at rolling hills but how adorable is this shop with all this glassware now this was a great place to go because i love her shop so much it is so beautifully bright and i'm like how do you keep it so clean oh my gosh but you see how cute she's done her little place with all the color and how she's organized it. I just love it. So anyway, I was looking for the little miniature salt and pepper. She had none. I could not believe it. Now, she had salt and pepper shakers, just nothing that I was looking for as far as like the mini. But she said, I know exactly what you're looking for. And I think I have some like in storage or in her shop or whatever. So the problem is I don't go there that often. So I probably won't be back anytime soon to find them. In the meantime, I actually found some at Rolling Hills. So I just wanted to keep showing you all these little blue birds of paradise. Oh my goodness, they were so precious. And then she had the, I don't know what they call it, that green glass. What? Radium glass? Is that what that's called? And it's in the background. Yeah, so they had this radium glass and it was incredible. Of course, she had it lit up so great. Isn't that the cutest? I can't touch that with a 10-foot pole. What's that saying? Um, too rich for my blood? Yeah, that was me. I did find this really cute little tiered tray, but it didn't come apart. And then I found this cabbage that is like the one my aunt made. I thought it was really cute. I was showing it 
to uh, Kathy and I just wanted to kind of make a little video because I think the one my, my aunt made looks much better. I just love that Victorian look. I think that is just such an artistic style. So cute. But it is so low to the ground. There's no way I could ever get back up with these knees. Oh my gosh. I saw these glasses and I just thought they were precious. But I've been having a pretty good look at rolling heels, so I'm going to stick with what I find there. I got home and I immediately started unpacking stuff and putting it in, pl in safe places because I got some really good deals. And they're so adorable. So I will show you those. So I should mention now that the reason I'm wearing the same outfit in so many uh, different videos is because my husband and I were heading to the lake and I wanted some footage to work on while I was at the lake. And I was in a hurry because he's like, you got an hour. So I was rushing through. Didn't have time to change. So I picked up these adorable little plates. They're a weird size. They're a little bit smaller than a you know salad and a little bit bigger than bread and butter. We're going to call them dessert plates. And I just love the hand-painted stuff. It's just so cute. I think, how cute is this for, well, just about any table setting to have this variety of plates that are all these different painted flowers on it. But that one is such a sweet little rose. That's why I love the little violets. And the, I guess those are yellow poppies. Is that what that is? I thought these would be so sweet for a little tea time table setting. See, one of the things I've noticed a lot of people have in these videos is a variety of teacups and things like that. And they're Place settings are adorable, and I just wanted to find some cute stuff. So I bought all those for $5, then I picked up that bowl. Now, she had $7.50 on that bowl, but she let me have it for 5 And then I had those two spongeware plates, which is why I got the bowl. But I got those crazy-looking glasses. Those are just crazy. So that was kind of a fun thing. And there's another shot, because I couldn't remember. Did I make a video of this? But the but it turns out that bowl and that spongeware have a little bit different color. I know. Isn't this weird? Now, from the same vendor that I got the glasses, I got this relish dish, and I paid like five for the glasses and five, you know, ten for all of it to five for that. So that's cute. So we went to the thing, the, the flea market thing, and then we went to Rolling Hills, and they had their Halloween decor. It was everywhere. I mean, really had it out. See my video now. One of my favorite aisles obviously has all the cool decor on it. So they have a lot of fall decor coming out. And I noticed that this day that we went on Saturday, there was no music. Isn't that weird? Because I normally have music going. There's a really cool bug. Oh, yeah, that one's coming home with me. You know it is. Got those creepy skeletons in it. Right up my alley. There were a lot of things that I kind of picked up I really wanted. I thought, oh, my goodness, if they're here later, may, you know, one of those meant-to-be things. But I love their goodie bags. They usually have really cool stuff in their goodie bags. A lot of witches, a lot of cool pumpkins, a lot of great stuff. A lot of the times when you go to Rolling Hills, you just cannot have any preconceived notions of what you might find. It is all a mystery. I wasn't looking for anything particular, so it was harder to find stuff. But I was looking for a tiered tray, and I did find this plate rack, and I put those bleak plates in it just to check it out. But I ended up not getting it. What I did grab was this really pretty candlestick, and I did put this at my house whenever I got home. And I looked it up on eBay, and it was running for like four seventy-five. It wasn't very expensive. In fact, I was tempted to even get the one off of eBay, so I'd have a pair. But I really like it. It's very heavy. It's just a really beautiful little. I would call that a little bit more a contemporary piece. But I really like that piece. So yeah, um, two seventy-five. I think I paid. I forgot. But yeah, not much. So, yeah, I'm really tempted to get that other one. But what I liked about it is that it is thick and sturdy and heavy. And I thought it would be a really great tiered tray kind of thing. Now, I don't know if I've talked to y'all before, if you saw it in previous videos, but you can buy the wax that you put, like, on uh, braces and things like that. And there's also came wax that you stick down in candles. And I think that's going to make a really good seal in order to keep things from slipping. And it's temporary. So that's my goal is to kind of build things with that wax. But so far, everything's pretty much held together. One of my goodie bags that I found... <laughs> were lights. I need lights. Um, I, I light up my little pumpkins and all. I hope these work. I haven't tested them yet. So I needed lights and they're kind of tangled in with the garland. I have these guys. There's a whole bunch and what a good deal. Oh, how much was that bag by the way? I didn't throw that bag. $3.75. That, oh my gosh, the thing fell on my foot. Ah! <laughs> that I did not expect. Okay, so this spider is gross. It is, oh my God, it's squishy. Can you hear that? That is kind of gross. I wonder if I can soak him in some hot water and reshape him. He's kind of like melted, 
but oh, he would be so cute with my little witches. And then a rat, a really awesome rat. I mean, come on, look at that. I don't think rats with my witches either. So they need a rat. Nice. And then all these guys, just the guys. So many guys, and they're hanging. I don't want them on this next necessarily on this garland. I want to do something else with them, but they're so cute. All right, you have seen where people take the big ones and they're posing all these weird poses, and you can take these and actually like cut them at their oh wait a second yeah cut them at their joints and uh, reposition is going back together. How much fun is this gonna be? I grabbed. A Madame, um, yeah, got that right. A Madame Alexander Asian 18 inch doll, and she is precious. Like I said, I have to get some things that I can eventually sell. It's just kind of a beat up American Girl brush. It just was in there. I still with my American Girl stuff. And she does come with clothes, and her clothes are American Girl. Scored some American Girl. <laughs> so that's really cute. Wow, that's weird. And then I, yeah, this is American Girl because I've seen it before, right? American Girl? Oh, yeah, it is. So, two little um, outfits. I mean, little tops. And then she is just as cute as she can be. And I don't know if this is her original outfit. I'm going to have to, you know, look at the tags. Oh, and some glasses. Aw, really like the Madame Alexander faces. I think they're so sweet. So, look at her sweet little face. Isn't she adorable? She's really cute. I'm sorry, you got eyelashes all caught up. She's got some scuffs. She's loved. She's clean. I mean, she's got a couple of scuffs on her face because she's been played with and her lips got a scuff on it. But that's okay. She's still precious. Oh, American Girl uh, glasses, too, because, oh, yeah, they're marked American Girl. Oh, my gosh. I really scored the American Girl stuff. But how cute. How cute are those glasses? So, and, and their little um, glass protector case. Yay. Look at that. Uh, $8.25. Who comes up with the 25? I don't know. That is crazy. All right. So that's one goodie bag. And the other goodie bag, which you say, I'm so ecstatic about that one. I know the skeletons just love them. Love these little creepy skeletons. I have the one that has a butterfly wings on the back that I, I made, you know, go ahead butterfly wings on to make it like one of those dead fairies. That is adorable. All right. So a cute little towel with leaves. And yeah, $2, look, for this whole set of, <laughs> okay, that's pretty darn funny. And look, it's like a thing. It goes, look, I don't know if you see that. Yeah, did you see the, it's a mitt. I'm using the wrong hand. I'm trying to backwards. It'll help. Yeah, so that's where your thumb goes. And then, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cute. Makeup crayons. Yeah, let me throw that one. Goodie bag. All right, so this guy looking a little creepy. He needs some TLC. Hang on. He is. He is just not quite right. I bet you like that because you look really bad right now. Oh, we get your bird. Your bird needs to go on you better. I don't like the way his arms are. <laughs> it looks like a torture. Anyway, I'm going to fix his arms. I want his arms to go out like this way. Because, I mean, don't you think that's cuter? Come on, that's so much cute. But the bird is wired. I need to unwire this no sewn on, so that'll be easy fix. Oh, yeah, easy peasy. But after I, I fix that, I can move the bird and put him on. But look at his cuteness. He had a probably a little wooden ball on his nose, I think, what they would have. And I may have something I can put on his nose, just a little round thunk right there. I'm painting nose. Now, I love this pumpkin. And just some cool uh, florals. Oh, another skeleton who does not look like those. He's like really nice looking. He's whiter and got black eyes. He's, those are more brown. Actually, those are creepier. Okay, they're both creepy. Oh, his face is really creepy. Wow. Right there. <laughs> that is pretty bad. Oh, he's got friends. Oh, yes, he does. So I have a whole bunch. Once again, yeah, you can take them and you can just um, break their long, cut, you know, right here at the joints, you just cut off and you re-glue them. So, okay, oh my goodness. Some of these, one, two, three. Four and then five, just on that one. Six, six of them, yeah, six, and then some cute little confetti and still brand new stuff in the package. Uh, a really good pumpkin to put with my witches. I'm running out of room because I put my owls with them. 
I'm so ready to get those things out now. Oh, these are some really pretty fall decor um, picks. I kind of like that stuff. I mean, I saw it in the bag, but it looks better in real life. Oh, they, oh, 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 that pumpkin goes on. Well, I would still take it off. Or I could just put the whole thing. He goes right there. So I could just put that whole thing with the witches. So that's pretty nice. And that one does not look like it's missing anything. And then this one, beautiful. And this is a, a weird type, kind of, the metallic, so what, I, I don't think the metallic's going to really go with my, my ladies. I may have to paint it. That was, oh, I got another one of these. Or put that in an arrangement or something. So I got, I got some really cool stuff for an arrangement. Really nice. And um, another one it was another skeleton. And then I have uh, pieces of things that broke off. Be attached. Another cute little flower. Twins. And then this thing. This thing. Hmm. So I'm not sure this particular thing will go with my other Halloween stuff, but it look cute like in a <laughs> get fast to my daughter in law. <laughs> Yay! Okay, see so yeah, ya, empty. Uh 375. I'm talking fun. Fun. So, we got to get through this Christmas in July. I'm sorry, decorating for Halloween. It's time. Sorry, time. No, but I do need to start thinking about Halloween seriously because I do need to work on my dolls. And I have uh, some that are started, and I know they really, really, really want to get finished. It's kind of like um, six characters in search of an author. Thanks for watching, and please hit that like button and share. And subscribe if you haven't. And hit that notification button because sometimes I make really good videos. Bye!